This week we start the readings in Genesis chapter 2 and we hear the story of creation of man and woman. God sees Adam and says that it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. And thus he creates Eve, brings Eve to Adam and Adam says, this one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This is the first love poem. We see the beauty of uh, how God has created us male and female and how he's made us suitable partners for each other. We see the, what is marriage. And so this awesome gift that God has given us. Then we see in the gospel um, how times have changed and the Pharisees are asking Jesus, trying to test him and saying, is divorce permitted? And so Jesus asks, well, what did Moses command you? Now Jesus knows what Moses commanded them, but he's asking to open up a conversation and to teach them more about God's plan for man and woman and marriage. They say, well, Moses permitted it. And he says, because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses gave this commandment, but from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two become one flesh. So Jesus gives an even more understanding of the gift of marriage, and he says, divorce is permitted because of the hardness of your hearts, but this is not God's intention. And so because of the hardness of your own hearts, you're not receiving the fullness and the greatness and the beauty of the gift that God has for you because you are closed off to it. You can't receive because you yourself have put this hardness in your heart. So this week, we wanna focus on identifying what the hardness is in my own heart and then asking God to remove that. We ask, of course, our Blessed Mother, who has a perfect heart, perfect immaculate heart, and loves perfectly to intercede for us and to help us to get rid of that hardness. There's a song by Jim Cohen um, that I especially like that reminds me of this and called Nearer Than Before. And the lyrics say, Lord, take the hardness from my heart, roll away the stony part, and fill me with a love that's true. So that's the essence of this week. We ask God to reveal it to us. We ask God and Our Lady to soften it and take it away so that you can receive the fullness of everything that God has for you. May you have a blessed and fruitful week.